What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Tom, Noah, and Jude here from Bogus Birdies Golf, and today we'll be bringing you guys Tour Talk Tuesday, so stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, so this past week we had the, uh, the Valspar Championship at Innisbrook Country Club. Um, basically, just be going over a rundown of the final round because the other three rounds, they don't matter. Uh, so, final round, Jordan Spieth was at minus 10 on hole 15. Patrick Reed was at 9 under on 18, and then he did this. Not an easy putt here down the hill. Pretty big swing to the right. This from right at 30 feet. Patrick Reed. <laughs> Gary, we were just discussing that nine under probably <laughs> wouldn't be good enough to right. have a chance. Well, <laughs> Patrick Reed just gave himself a great chance. You don't make birdies from up there. So that putt right there forced a playoff between uh, Jordan Spieth, Patrick Reed, and Sean O'Hare. And they tied off to the first hole, and, uh, you know, that was not eventful. Then, on the second playoff hole, uh, Patrick Reed's approach plug plugged in the bunker, and uh, he looked like he was going to be out of the playoff, but they did this. Well, Patrick Reed not okay here at 18. Ball buried right below the lip of the bunker. And his reaction when he saw it, I had thought when I... Before it went to break, that it kind of came out somewhere down at the bottom, but not to be. Really tough here. Yeah, ball wants to squirt to the right. That's going to be the issue. Well, well he did it pretty well. It came out right. But everybody's been scrambling at 18. Why not have Patrick Reed join the group of great saves that we've seen? Uh, he just hit behind it. And now has a chance to join the group back at the 16th and what would be an amazing clutch up and down from underneath the lip of the bunker it'll be three at 16 what a save by reed this guy is tough birdie and regulation gary and <laughs> one of those virtually impossible saves how good has this golf been well, it has been great, Dan. We have seen any number of well-executed shots, clutch putts. And many people will tell you that these are the two best young Americans in the game. So that was a cr pretty crazy up and down that, uh, you know, it's just to stay in the playoff. Then all three went to uh, hole 16 where Reed and O'Hare made par. And Spieth had about a 30-footer for his birdie, and then he did this. Jordan Spieth, Gary, can he just uh... <laughs> rush another one in? I wouldn't put it past him, Raj. He has made some unbelievable putts, uh, especially on the back nine today. Oh. Yeah, I guess he is going to do it again. day that we will not soon forget that had everything that you could possibly ask for from two of these really young golfers and then O'Hare in it. It is Jordan Spieth who emerges from a three-man playoff with a birdie walk-off here. PGA Tour victory number two. 28 feet for Jordan Spieth who earlier just to get into this playoff had some of the finest runs of up and downs we've seen in a long time. So there is that second hard-fought PGA Tour win for Spieth.
the fourth player in the last 75 years to win two PGA Tour titles before the age of 22. So, uh, this past week I picked uh, Patrick Reed, Drew picked Kevin Na, uh, who you picked? Cooch. You picked Matt Kuchar and you picked uh, Adam Scott. Yeah, he's a huge fan. <laughs> you picked Adam Scott. So we have I the picked Hendrickson. Well, but... yeah, kind of. So we have the updated points behind us right here. I'm at 13. Drew is at 13. Noah's at 10. And Judy's at 6. I'll be there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> he, he might get 10 points before the end of the season. After this tournament, we will have the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill. And that's always a pretty good tournament. Always a big tournament. You know, big names play in it. Uh, Tiger Woods, I think, has won there eight times, but he will not be playing there this year. Um, Rory McIlroy will be playing there for the first time in like four or five years. So uh, my personal pick is Henrik Stenson. Uh, I feel like he's had some recent success, and why not have it uh, continue here at Bay Hill? Who do you pick, Noah? My pick is J.D. Holmes. J.D. Holmes, another good pick. Uh, pretty successful guy this year so far. Who do you pick, Jude? My pick was Rory McIlroy. Uh, good pick, big name. No yeah. Shut up. Three iron. But... He's been struggling a little bit as of late, but I would not be surprised if he, uh, you know, played well. Drew picked Adam Scott. He's stupid. I think I'm getting messages from Mr. Erdman. He is uh, keeping his pick. Keeping Adam Scott. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, nobody asked him to change it. So. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, Drew is maintaining his pick of Adam Scott. And he's dumb for that. So it should be a good tournament this week. Hopefully Jude catches up a little bit. I doubt it. Well, he's probably going to throw his whole bag in the pond this time. Just, just saying. Hope he catches up a little bit. We don't want to run away with it. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please drop a like for the uh, additional video clips that I've included this week. I thought they'd be kind of a cool little addition that you guys could see that what actually happened in the tournament rather than just me talking. And, yeah, uh, nobody likes that. Exactly. Uh, subscribe for more content like this. And in the link below, check out Up and Down Golf. His, uh, his channel is in the description. He's a, he's a uh, YouTuber just like us. does kind of the same videos as us. Also, you have until, what is it, Thursday? Yes. You have until Thursday to enter in a bracket into the March Madness Challenge for us. Uh, you can do that by either tagging us in a tweet or DMing us on Instagram or Twitter. Both links are in the description below. So, uh, I'm Tom. I'm Noah. I'm Jude. And we're from Bogus Birdies Golf. Thanks for watching.